subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Estuarine Crocodile. <laughs> oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I just saw a big bird drop something. Do you want to help me look for it? You found it, Hero? Oh, it's an egg, but it's already empty. I wonder what was in it. What's the matter, Hero? Don't be sad about an empty egg. Ah, Hero! It's some kind of lizard. Are you okay, Hero? I wonder what kind of lizard this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. Did you find out what kind of lizard it is? Hi, Leo. As it turns out, it's not a lizard. It's a crocodile. And this one is an estuarine crocodile, also known as the saltwater crocodile. A crocodile in our garden? Wow! As a baby, it's very small, but it can grow up to five meters in length. That's huge! An estuarine crocodile must eat a lot to get to that size. The estuarine crocodile is a carnivore, which means it feeds on other animals. On almost every animal, it can even attack humans. Hmm. Where do estuarine crocodiles come from? Estuarine crocodiles can be found in the tropical parts of Southeast Asia, South Asia, Australia, and the Pacific. They usually live in mangrove swamps or estuaries. A mangrove swamp is a place in the tropics where trees grow thickly along a saltwater river or sea. An estuary is an area where a river meets the sea. We should go there and return the baby crocodile to its nest. Come and join us. Good thinking, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the Mangrove Swamp, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have a baby estuarine crocodile with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. It came from an egg that a big bird dropped in our garden. Perhaps the bird stole the egg from a nest. Estuarine crocodiles typically lay 40 to 60 eggs. If the eggs are kept at a temperature between 30 and 33 degrees Celsius, most of the baby crocodiles will be male. If the temperature is a bit higher or lower, then most baby crocodiles will be female. Unfortunately, only a few baby crocodiles will grow to become an adult. Most baby crocodiles are eaten in their first year by animals, such as large fish and birds. But as adults, these crocodiles have no natural predators, aside from humans and other estuarine crocodiles. If you want to find the baby crocodile's nest, Look for a place without large fish or birds. Large fish and birds eat baby crocodiles. And remember, always keep your distance from crocodiles. They are dangerous animals. Stay safe and good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. <laughs> what is it, Hero? A sign? Oh, it's warning us that there are crocodiles nearby. I don't see any crocodiles, but we'd better be careful, Katie. Let's keep walking. It says here that crocodiles are very good at hiding in water. We should also avoid thick vegetation where crocodiles could hide. So, if crocodiles are very good at hiding, does that mean there might be crocodiles here, but we just can't see them? Um, there might be, Leo. Wait, 
Where's Hero? Let's hope so, Katie. Run! Oh no! Another crocodile! Let's jump on these logs in the river. These aren't logs, Katie. They're crocodiles. Yikes! There's only one way out. Everybody, it's time to fly! found the baby crocodile's nest. Great job, everyone. Yay! We found a baby estuarine crocodile in our garden. We learned that estuarine crocodiles live in a mangrove swamp or estuary. So we returned the baby crocodile to its nest in the mangrove swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Komodo dragon. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What is it, Hero? What did you find? Hero, it's an egg. Did you scare the bird away from her egg? An egg is one of the ways a baby animal gets born. Most eggs have shells that protect the baby animal inside. The baby bird will have to crack open the shell and push its way out. See, it's pretty hard. We need to find a warm place to put the egg so that it will hatch. Great idea, Hero. Let's bring it to the treehouse. I think the baby bird is coming out. That's weird. Baby birds don't look like that. It's not a bird. It's a lizard. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little lizard. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the lizard. Bingo! This lizard is a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Yes, a Komodo dragon. It's a type of lizard. Despite its name, it doesn't breathe fire. <laughs> it's also known as the Komodo monitor. Where does it come from? Komodo dragons are found mainly on the islands of Southeast Asia. The Komodo dragon you found comes from here. So what do Komodo dragons eat? Komodo dragons eat other animals, such as birds, mammals, and other lizards. It's a carnivore. Baby Komodo dragons eat insects and other small animals. Hmm, there aren't that many insects in our garden. We should bring baby Komodo back to the island it came from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in the party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in the party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a young male Komodo dragon. Yes, Ranger Rocky. 
We're here to bring baby Komodo back to its home. That's great, Leo. But make sure you find a place with no adult Komodo dragons. No adult Komodo dragons? Why not? After laying her eggs, the mother Komodo dragon will leave them to survive on their own. And adult Komodo dragons might eat the baby lizards. Oh dear! Eat the baby lizards? How will they survive on their own? Young Komodo dragons will live in the trees to hide from predators, such as larger lizards and snakes. When they are bigger, they will go down to walk the land. Then we should help him find a new home away from other lizards and snakes. That's right, Leo. Don't forget, young Komodo dragons live in the trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What is it, Hero? <gasps> Baby Komodo is gone. Where did he go? <laughs> Let's follow Hero. There you are, Hero. <laughs> oh no! Baby Komodo is being chased by an adult Komodo dragon. We need to help Baby Komodo. What should we do? Wait, the baby dragon is almost at that tree. He's safe if he can climb up. Oh no! A second Komodo dragon appeared. To scare away a Komodo dragon, we need to make loud noises. Loud noises? Okay, Hero, you know what to do. Komodo dragons are confused because of the noise. I've got you, baby Komodo. <laughs> we did it! We found an empty spot in a tree for the baby Komodo dragon. Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! found a young Komodo dragon in our garden. We learned that a Komodo dragon is a lizard. So we went to the rainforest and found a safe, empty spot in a tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian star tortoise. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play soccer, Hero. Get the ball! Hey, where could it be? I saw the ball going in this direction. Did you find it, Hero? Hey, that's not my football. It's hard and smooth. It looks like a turtle. What a pretty shell you have. I wonder what kind of turtle you are. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This tortoise is an Indian star tortoise. That's a very suitable name for this animal. The Indian star tortoise comes from India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan. And, as you have noticed, the Indian star tortoise has star-like markings on its round shell. They look amazing, but what are those markings for? With the star-like markings on its shell, this tortoise can hide very well among grasses or plants. Their hard shells help to protect them, but they are still preyed upon by large birds and reptiles such as snakes. So Indian star tortoises have to hide themselves well from these sharp predators. Indian star tortoises normally live in dry scrub forests or grasslands. They can hide much better there. 
These places also provide the right kind of food for them, like grasses, flowers, and fallen fruit. Then we have to bring this Indian star tortoise back home, where it can hide and find the right food to eat. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the Scrub Forest. Ah, an Indian star tortoise. It's one of the prettiest tortoises I've ever seen, Ranger Rocky. Apart from its beauty, the Indian star tortoise is also gentle and shy. Unfortunately, the peaceful and nature beauty of Indian star tortoises are also the reasons why people like to keep them as pets. And in many countries, it is illegal to keep Indian star tortoises as pets. Illegal? You mean we're not allowed to keep them as pets? Correct, Leo. Though it's not allowed, there are still people who catch these tortoises and sell them around the world. Indian star tortoises get stressed and cold when they are taken away from their home and sent to other countries. Even if an Indian star tortoise survives the journey, its new home may not be suitable for it. Indian star tortoises do not like damp or cold places. They cannot breathe properly in such places. Poor tortoises! Your tortoise must have escaped from its owner and landed up in your garden somehow. You have to bring it back to a place that is dry and warm. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Come on, guys. Let's continue on foot. Look, Leo, there is a man over there. What is he doing? Hey, he picked up an Indian star tortoise. Why is he running? Maybe he's an illegal pet trader hunting for Indian star tortoises. So he might take the poor tortoise to another country and sell it. Hero, wait for us. Wow, there are so many Indian star tortoises here. I hope they're all right. Don't worry, Leo. A tortoise will protect itself from getting hurt by hiding in its shell. Luckily, these tortoises are unharmed from the fall. Phew, let's put them back into the container carefully. Enjoy the sun and the grass, little ones. We did it. We found a home for the Indian star tortoises. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found an Indian star tortoise in our garden. We learned that Indian star tortoises like to live in dry and warm places and that the star patterns on their shells help them hide in grass. So we found a nice home for the tortoise where it can enjoy the sunlight with other Indian star tortoises. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The reticulated python. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Hey, stop it, Hero. What are you doing? It's just a jumping rope, Hero. Did you think it's a snake? Hmm. Why don't you look for snakes in the garden? 
Just bark if you find one. Don't worry, there are no snakes in this garden. <laughs> That's impossible. Maybe Hero found another jumping rope. Let's have a look. <laughs> what is it, Hero? Wow, it's a real snake. And it's so big. And are those its eggs? Hero, don't get too close. It could be dangerous. Don't worry, Snake. I'm not going to hurt you or your eggs. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about this snake. There we go. This is a reticulated python. A reticulated python? Yep. Reticulated pythons are one of the largest snakes in the world and are found all around Southeast Asia. One of the largest? How big do they get? They can grow longer than six and a half meters in length, which is like four people standing on each other's shoulders. Normally, they eat small animals, like rats and birds. But they're also known to eat dogs, cats, pigs, and even small bears. Pythons normally don't attack people, but to be safe, it's better to keep a distance. Are they poisonous? The correct word to use is venomous. And no, they are not. They're just very strong. Why do you think this python is in a cage? Some people keep pythons as pets. Maybe someone abandoned it when it laid its eggs. Poor python. We've got to get this python and her eggs back into the wild. The city is no place for her. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Here's a good spot for us to stop. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What brings you all the way out here? We found a python with her eggs, Ranger Rocky, and we're gonna set her free. That is a big snake. You know, reticulated pythons are great swimmers and sometimes hang from the branches of trees to attack their prey. Their name comes from the pattern on their skin which looks like a net and helps to hide them in the jungle. What about the mothers and their eggs? They can be quite protective of their eggs, and they can lay up to 80 of them at a time. If you want to find a good place to let it go, look for a place near water, like rivers and lakes. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no, Leo! <laughs> Hero, be careful! Leo, are you okay? I'm fine, Katie. But the mother python disappeared, and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python, then. If there are hippos, there should be water around. The mother python could be there. We didn't find anything. Normally, it's Hero who helps us find what we need. Look, we're back where we started. 
Hero! You went back where we last saw you. You're such a smart dog, Hero. Now Hero and the eggs are safe, but only the mother python is still missing. There's the mother python. Let's keep a safe distance. We did it! We found the mother python! Hooray! Yay! We found a python and her eggs in our garden. It was a reticulated python. We learned that reticulated pythons are the largest snakes in the world and that they are great swimmers. So we went to the rainforest and brought the python and its eggs back to its natural home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The leatherback sea turtle. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time for a game of table tennis, Hero. Okay, Hero, I will serve the ball first. Here I go. Oh, almost, Hero. What is it, Hero? More balls? How did they get here? Oh my, what's happening? It's a baby turtle. So these aren't balls, they're eggs. Do you know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now smile, little one. Hi, Katie. What information did you find about the baby sea turtle? Hi, Leo. There are seven types of sea turtles. This one is a leatherback sea turtle. It's the largest of all sea turtles. The leatherback sea turtle is named for its shell. It doesn't have a hard bony shell like other sea turtles have. Instead, its shell is covered with skin which feels like rubber or like leather. The leatherback sea turtle can also dive deeper than any other sea turtle. Leatherbacks eat small sea creatures but what they mostly eat is their favorite food, jellyfish. Unfortunately, they sometimes find plastic bags in the sea and mistake them for jellyfish, so they eat the plastic bags. This is one of the reasons why the leatherback sea turtle is in danger. Oh no! People should not throw their garbage in the seas. Absolutely, Leo. Especially because the leatherback can be found in almost every sea worldwide. Male leatherbacks never leave the water, but female leatherbacks will leave the water to lay her eggs at the beach. I see. We should bring the baby sea turtle and the eggs back to their nest at the beach. Great idea, Leo. That's their best chance for survival. Welcome to the beach, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought along a sea turtle and some unhatched sea turtle eggs. Yes, Ranger Rocky. These eggs are from a leatherback sea turtle. That's great, Leo. Unlike land turtles or tortoises, the sea turtle cannot pull its head and legs into its shell. Sea turtles have flippers, which are permanently fixed outside their shells. However, this does help the sea turtle swim very fast and very well. The leatherback sea turtle can reach the age of 50 or even 100 years old. But for the sea turtle to grow old, 
it has a lot of challenges to overcome. As small babies, they have a lot of predators in the open seas. Even when they are still in their eggs, there is the danger of other animals trying to eat the eggs. When the female sea turtle lays her eggs on the beach, she disturbs the sand to hide the nest from predators. Remember, they choose sandy beaches to lay their eggs because their soft shells are easily damaged by rocks. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Look! Baby Turtle is trying to make it for the sea! Oh no! Raccoons! No, you can't have these eggs! It's too dangerous here, little one! Let's run! What can we do, Leo? I sense trouble, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky, raccoons are trying to get the baby sea turtle and the sea turtle eggs. Raccoons dislike bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Good luck. I have an idea. Let's try to make some noise with those smelly dustbin lids. Hopefully, that will scare the raccoons away. Great idea, Katie. And there is Hero to help. It worked! They're finally gone. The eggs and the baby turtle are safe again. Shoo, crabs! <laughs> Good luck, little friend. Look, the eggs are hatching. Goodbye, everybody. We did it. We found the sea turtle's nest. Great job, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> We found a baby sea turtle and eggs in our garden. We learned that they are leatherback sea turtles. They have soft shells and prefer sandy beaches to lay their eggs. So we brought the eggs back to the sea turtle's nest and the baby sea turtles found their way to the sea. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there!